This is Ride News Now. I'm Allison Hayslip. Today, we're chatting about Tesla facing backlash in Europe, Toyota blessing the rains down in Africa, and Switzerland delivering booze in style. Now, here's the latest in all things mobility. Tesla's new Gigafactory is like the Paul Bunyan of auto plants. Think about it. To make it, they're chopping down a forest, and it will use an ocean of drinking water once it's up and running. Some people in Europe are, shall we say, unhappy with Tesla's plans to build one outside Berlin, Germany. Just last week, work was temporarily halted on the project when environmentalists filed an injunction against the automaker. Adding insult to injury, it's now clear Tesla could get some pretty huge government kickbacks to build it. The project is eligible for German subsidies that would use taxpayer money to pay for this giant tree-killing water tank of a car factory. I'm not sure why you would need 2 million gallons of drinking water per day to build cars, but since they've figured out how to force their critics to help pay for the factory, it looks like Tesla may be winning this battle. What a cruel twist that the company most responsible for environmentally friendly EVs is now the environmental bad guy in the eyes of so many. When I say the words mobility app and Africa, you're picturing elephants and zebras riding bird scooters, aren't you? Don't worry, I already pitched that idea. The people at Shark Tank said it was stupid. Toyota is heavily investing in Africa and has started a new initiative that offers funding to jumpstart African mobility companies. This initiative, which Toyota is calling Mobility 54, recently granted $7.6 million to Sendi, a Kenyan startup. Sendi developed an app to connect companies that need goods hauled with delivery truck drivers who want to haul those goods. Mobility 54 is looking for more African companies to push the boundaries of the transportation and freight world. So if there are any African startups watching this, give Toyota a call and tell them Ride News Now sent you. Danish beer maker Carlsberg is about to get a little better for you. No, they haven't found the magic formula for low calorie and great taste, but they are looking to reduce CO2 emissions during the delivery process. That's not just better for you, that is better for all of us. Carlsberg just signed an agreement to buy 20 electric delivery trucks for its beer delivery operations in Switzerland. The 26-ton electric Renault trucks will feature a pair of powerful motors to help them traverse the steep roads of the Alps. Even with all that climbing, they'll have a range of about 124 miles. Considering Switzerland is only 220 miles across, I doubt range anxiety will be a concern for these delivery drivers. If this move proves successful for Carlsberg, it could be an important first step for electric trucking in Europe. Assuming, of course, the drivers aren't sipping the Carlsberg as they make the deliveries. Pretty sure that's a no-no in Switzerland too. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. For more tech news, join us over at Ride.Tech and be sure to follow Ride Tech News on your social platform of choice. This is Ride News Now, I'm Allison Hayslip. Today, we're chatting about Tesla faking, faking? Wow, yep, it's one of those days. When I say the words mobility app and Africa, you're picturing, picturing, picturing. You're not picturing, that's incorrect. Sendy developed an app to connect companies that need, Sendy developed an app to connect com, Sendy developed, developed an app. <laughs> I don't know why that's hard to say. Send away, send away, send away. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Also, head to ride.tech for stories, reviews, and more news.